Hey guys, welcome back. So we are doing our September closeout with our sinking and savings challenges. So let's get into it. I have my iPad here with all of our starting balances for September. We might have to go out of order just because um, I have moved some things around in binders. As you can see, there's more binders than our last closeout. And I just haven't had a moment to rearrange um, my categories. So let's start with our low priority sinking funds. Okay. So we currently have 20, 30, 35, 40, $41. All right, Joey has 20, 40, 45, 50, 51. Okay, um, Beauty has 20, 30, 35, $40. All right, so we're going to go down here to close. So at the beginning of the year, this envelope did not exist. It now has $10. I am slightly off camera. Okay, let's fix that. So it has $10. And tattoos is another low priority sink fund, but we have not started that one yet. So I'm still at zero. All right, we're going back up. We're going to go into our high priority sinking funds. All right, so subscriptions has 20, 40, 50, 55 dollars. Car maintenance now has 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 5, 6, 7, 107 dollars. So car tax, the envelope is empty, but the money is in my wallet right now to go to the bank. So technically, we still have this money. This bill does not get paid until the beginning of October. So that is three twenty-five. dollars Car tags, 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 57, 58 dollars in car tags. We're going to go down to state test. State test has 10. Yes. $10. And this envelope did not exist at the beginning of the month or end of last month. That's why it doesn't have anything. It's a new category. All right. And let's go to... Um, our savings. Attempt to make this video as short and painless as possible. Anniversary has 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60 dollars. Okay. So we're going to have to jump around. Like I said, I did change some things and I just haven't had a moment to update this. 
gifts has 20 40 50 60 65 dollars All right, and let's go down to fall. Fall has 20, 40, 60, 80, 91, 510. $110 in fall savings. Okay. So that is it for this binder. And here is our last binder. Okay, so in travel, we now have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 10. $210 in travel. All right, Christmas now has 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 20, 40, 60, 80, 3, 20, 35. $335 in Christmas. All right, and in savings, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75. $175 in savings. And in debt, which is our last one, we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63. I feel like I counted that wrong. Let's count this one more time. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63. Okay, so $163 in debt. And in debt, okay, so we have counted everything and then our hundred envelope, um, we do not count. Okay, so let's bring out my calculator. We're going to add the, all this up. And let's see the total. Hmm, we're going to keep it right here. Okay. Because I don't want the glare. All right, so 18, 15. Wow. Okay. That that is crazy to me. We basically doubled how much we had in the previous month. So as you can see, start of September, we had 675. 1815. That is wild to me. Um, let me go ahead and just quickly make sure this number is correct. All right, so 1815 is correct. So we're gonna go ahead and see what the exact um, change is from category to category. All right, so all of the adding and subtracting is done so every single one of our categories did go up so as you can see all of our categories did go up and we managed to add a thousand hundred and forty dollars into our um savings just in the month of september 
that is wild to me. I never thought that would be possible. And as you can see, not a lot of my um, categories grew by a significant amount unless they were ones I was really focusing on, such as my car tax where we added 209. Um, travel is increasing just because we're focusing on it. Christmas. Um, those are the biggest ones, but everything else only increase, increased by like here. Um, we have $30, $50, $20, $80. So it's not like we're adding a lot every month into our, um, categories. And as you can see, they're growing. We are hitting, we are hitting goals. I am, I could not be happier to be completely honest with you guys. This is something I have not, oops, that's August. I have not been able to do if it wasn't for cash budgeting, if it wasn't for setting money aside every single paycheck to physically put into a binder and not just say, okay, it's in my account or I'm just going to move it to a random savings account and then really having that access to that money and using it. So this is completely wild to me. Um... And if this hasn't convinced you to start cash budgeting, I don't know what has. Because this whole community, you see everyone adds a little bit at a time, depending on um, if you're low income or high income. As you can see, I am low income. I don't have a lot to stuff every two weeks, but I do stuff what I can. And as you see, it builds up tremendously. And I'm so happy about that. So without me rambling on, I will see you guys in the next video.